people actually still call me that. What, Tony? Yes. We're here in Hopeless Island. Uh, the lady told me on the phone that she had this snake in her house and she called the security and security told her there was a dollar involved so she got a, uh, a family member to come in and help her get it out. They didn't know whether it went out or not and then she found it again today in her cupboard. So either it didn't get out or there's a clutch hatching which is a possible scenario. But this lady's adamant that it's nothing to worry about because it's small. And it's a very, very common misconception amongst the public. They think that if a snake is small, it's nothing to worry about. If it's an eastern brown, straight out of the egg at this length, or whether it's a big three or four kilo eastern brown, it's seven foot long, it's gonna have the same result. And as a matter of fact, I'd much prefer the big eastern brown. They're a little bit more complacent, a little bit fatter and slower, and the head seven foot away. The little tiny hatchling eastern brown, they're very difficult to handle, they're very fast, very agile, and everything bigger than them, they think he's out to eat them. So they'll bite at the drop of a hat. Meters. So I don't ever go by colour or by size public. But this isn't the same token, could be hatching green tree or something else. But just the same, her mindset is a little bit wrong. But we'll try and fix that as we go. Nine, one, two, three, one, three, two, and two, four will be on this side. So she last seen it in the wardrobe, then went and rang security and can't find it again. So Christ knows where this is, but we're the ones that do that for a living, so we should narrow it down pretty quickly. <coughs> If it's a security car, you've got to be careful here with the, the Hope Island security. They keep coming and trying to put their two cents worth, even though they've been told multiple times. And they either stuff it up or chase the snake away. And it makes my job very difficult. And it's also against the law for them to do that. And I'm pretty sure that their insurance won't cover them if by chance they're uh, bitten by a snake on their job when they know they're not supposed to. But anyway, you got the bag, but oh, I'll put it in the boot. Mm -hmm. Nothing on me. I'm getting a car because I've got a freaking car. I'm too busy talking shit to the camera. And we just were at the laundromat washing all my snack bags because uh, the laundromat, the heat, if there's any yucky bugs, it kills it. How you doing? You may very well have a clutch of eggs hatching. Sorry? You may as well. There he is there. Oh, Yeah, yeah. You could very well have a clutch of eggs that have just hatched. Oh, really? And if... Oh, they smell those little buggers. <laughs> if by chance you've had um, a clutch hatch under this decking here and you leave this door open... Yeah. It wasn't open at... Yeah. yeah. But anyway, keep that in mind. But yeah, it's a tree snake 